They're called internet trolls, the sort of people who go online to provoke and abuse others on social media. Now lawyers in England and Wales are being urged to prosecute so-called trolls who use fake online profiles to harass others. Cases could also follow if fakers post material online that's indecent, offensive or simply false. Here's our Home Affairs correspondent, Tom Simons. This is Kevin Healy, the real Kevin Healy, a campaigner for the rights of people with autism. He lives with the condition, which has made it hard for him to forget the abuse he's had from imposters on Twitter. People cloning my account, my bio, my description, changing the bio and description using hate, disability hate speech and then sending the most offensive tweets out there. On that one there, it clearly says I can't get my words out. Hashtag drooling vegetable. That user has since been suspended. Kevin's desperate for his identity to be verified, receiving a blue tick. Twitter says it wouldn't solve the problem. It's like identity theft. My identity's been stolen from me and somebody's using that. And I think as a human right, we are entitled to, you know, keeping our own identity and not having that being stolen from us. And it's a very modern problem. Take Ruth Palmer. Her imposter stole her pictures and set up fake Facebook and Instagram accounts. She called herself Leah Palmer and used the accounts to attract men online, though not everyone was fooled. Now the Crown Prosecution Service is advising its lawyers to charge those who take advantage of fake accounts, especially when credible threats are made. There is coercive behaviour, stalking or harassment, including what's called revenge porn. But the CPS says prosecutions should also be considered in lesser offences when indecent, offensive or simply false information is posted online. The law has already been tightened. Today's proposals are about ensuring it's used. We are seeing people are, prosecute, are being prosecuted, they're pleading guilty and they are going to prison and getting very serious sentences. So that in itself should be a deterrent. And I think sometimes people don't recognise what they do online is an offence because it's so quick, it's so immediate. Um, actually, you perhaps don't have the same thought processes as you do if you have to do it not online. However, prosecutors are being told they must always think carefully about their response to what's said online in case that damages our freedom of speech. Tom Simons, BBC News.